We still don't have a Flash movie, but we have a movie now that's like The Flash if The Flash was a snail. Pretty much. <laughs> Turbo. Power Rangers Turbo Go! So Turbo is the story of a snail who's a slow snail like any other snail. He has hopes and dreams and he watches the Indy 500 on his TV and he's like, I want to race like those guys. But he's a snail so we can only go at a snail's pace. That's why the term exists. One day he gets sucked into a Fast and Furious car right when the NOS goes through the engine and instead of being vaporized and killed, he's turned into a super fast snail. Known as... Turbo. Power Rangers Turbo Go! And I'll say this about the movie. The movie's cute. It's like good for kids. I don't know about you, but I see a lot of movies. So in a movie like this, I'm like, I think I know how this movie's gonna go down. Here it is for you. This is a movie about a snail that gets really fast that wants to race in the Indy 500 and he gets the opportunity to. How do you think this movie's gonna play out? Spoiler alert, it plays out just like that. And it's kind of a bummer. It makes you feel like they're just phoning it in. It's like someone was like, we need a really quick kids movie to come out in the same weekend as The Conjuring. All right, slap that together. That's good. Here's a snail with superpowers. I mean, the voice acting's really good. Ryan Reynolds plays Turbo. Paul Giamatti plays his brother. Giamatti's an awesome actor. He's one of the best actors out there. You got a bunch of little side character snails, among them Samuel L. Jackson, Snoop. One of the cool aspects of the movie is that there are these humans that Turbo and his brother come across, voiced by Michael Pena and Louis Guzman, and they're ultimately, they're the parallels. They're the mirror image of Turbo and his brother. The Michael Pena one, he's like, oh, I want hopes and dreams, and Louis Guzman's like, no, don't do that. that that's for cool people like Paul Giamatti saying to Turbo. Weird thing was though, and this might be the magic of Michael Pena, because I'm a fan of that dude at this point. When he came into the movie, it's like the movie made him the star of it, not Turbo. You were more invested in his hopes and dreams and his problems and the fact that he wanted to succeed in this, you know, he kind of pairs up with Turbo. And it might have been aided in the fact that when the movie's concentrating on him and he's talking to Turbo, Turbo doesn't talk. Because Turbo's a snail. If he talked to him, that wouldn't make any sense. He's a human. He's a snail. Snails and human the humans can't hear snails talk. The movie is called Turbo, but it shouldn't be really. It should be called that dude who works in the taco stand. I'll say this though, it was really cool to see Turbo go really fast. When he's just burning rubber anywhere, you're like, you can't help but smile. You're like, eh. That's cool, hopes and dreams coming true and shit. The last half hour of this movie, when it really gets down to the racing, metaphorically speaking, the climax of most any movie is a race to success. But when the race to success is an actual race in a movie, I'm always like, yeah, the, I'm, I'm locked in. I find this really entertaining. I guess I like races in movies. Watching the actual Indy 500's pretty boring. You make it all cinematic, I am there with you. Turbo isn't close to my favorite animation of the year, but it is what it is. A bit forgettable, pretty generic, but fun for kids. I will say Turbo, is a good time, no alcohol required if you're a kid. Which makes sense, that statement does make sense. There are parts of the world where kids can drink, where kids are referred to as soldiers. Remember kids, you booze, you lose. There, better? All right, there are a lot of movies coming out this weekend. What movie are you looking forward to the most? Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.